And we have Steve Harvey. He says he's received a severe, very negative backlash and some threats after just meeting with President-elect Trump. Roll tape. On a personal note, uh, a lot of y'all hurt me. You really did. Uh, I didn't expect the black the backlash to be so vicious, and, and you know. But I also understand that if I'm gonna keep getting stabbed at, now I'm still Steve Harvey, so please understand. If I'm gonna keep getting stabbed at, then at least while you stabbing me, you should understand my intent. Um, Leslie Marshall is joining us now. On the left, Leslie, look, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, this is serious stuff that's going on now. Uh, and my position is, and let's see how you respond to this, that the, this vigorous contempt that's being expressed for Mr. Trump and the delegitimizing of his presidency, that's in full force. I think that that undermines our democracy. We lose faith in the democratic process. Our democratic institutions start to fray when they're under this kind of attack. Will you join me on this? <laughs> I would love, Stuart, to see unity in this nation. But unfortunately, I would also love to see the guy in the red suit in the North Pole be a real thing on December 25th. The reality is this is not just happening with Donald Trump. We saw this happen with Barack Obama. We saw a lack of respect. We saw division. We saw Nothing anger, like this, a lack Leslie. of acceptance Nothing over the results. Nothing at all like uh, this. I know, and Nothing. I don't, I don't disagree Nothing. that this, I don't disagree that this is even this is even worse. But you know what, Stuart? I'm going to surprise you. One of the things that bothers me about the outrage and all of the protests, and I have no problem with that, that's our First Amendment at work. A lot of these people didn't come out and vote. When we talk about Steve Harvey and his audience, which is diverse but largely African American, uh, a lot of African Americans didn't come out to vote in this past election. Steve Harvey said, you hurt me, but he expected the backlash. Honestly, if Donald Trump invited me to meet with him, I would. He is going to be the President of the United States and sworn in on Friday. Friday, and I would get backlash and expect it. So I, I think Steve Harvey was being a little bit naive not to expect it, mm. but I like the fact that he said his intention, which he wanted to have a connection with Ben Carson, who's going to be heading up HUD, because he, Steve Harvey, came from low-income housing in the inner city, and he wants to help. That's an right. area that he is personally concerned about. Uh, stay right there, please, Leslie. We'll be back to you in just a second. I want to deal with another issue that's coming up here, namely the International Monetary Fund, the famous IMF. Mm -hmm. They say that our growth rate here in America is going to go up. We're going to have better growth in America thanks to President-elect Donald Trump. This is from the IMF. Yeah, whose you know, forecasts you can take with a grain of salt. However, they say based on Donald Trump's tax and spending plans, they believe it will be a boost to the U.S. economy. This year, now 2.3% is their prediction, which is just a slight uh, uptick. And then the GDP next year at 2.5%, that's up nearly a half a percent from their previous uh, prediction. So there you go. It's tax and spending plans of Donald Trump that has given them the belief that the economy will grow more. How That's about the that? IMF. IMF, no Not less. Not used to this. No. <laughs> Leslie Marshall, I know you are listening to this. The IMF says we're going to get a better growth rate in America because of Donald Trump. You're on the left. Your response. Well, first of all, when you look at the, the, the fine print there, the IMF actually <laughs> said worldwide everybody's going to get a boost economically, and it's not because of Do Donald Trump, because well, China is one of better, those countries. Well, we certainly better. would not get a boost from Donald Trump. World Bank the said United it would States, from Trump policies. The World, with the World Bank, the World said, Bank they, said it would from Trump policies yes, The World week. Bank said that we'd get a boost from Trump's policies. Come on. This is, what do you say? Well, first of all, this is, they also talk about the cost. And the caution of what happens if there, you know, if there are the tariffs, if we do have a trade war, uh, what that will do. They also talk about uh, <laughs> it, the Fed's it. raising interest rates. Hey, look, I'm a pessimist. I know you got to look at the glass half full, but Trump, I'm also you are, a realist. Sure. <laughs> and I, uh, no, 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 no. I want the economy. Every American wants the economy to do well, regardless of who's the leader. No, that's don't. why the left it wants is it the to economy fail. that the determines left the outcome Trump of the election. Fail. They're contemptuous of it. Leslie, I thanks think, so much I, for putting up with me. I think a lot of the policies of Trump will fail, but I want the economy to be robust. Okay, we hear that and we like it. <laughs> Leslie, thanks yeah, for being yeah. with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.